Alright, welcome back to Shave and Fuzzy. I'm Fuzzy. How y'all? So, uh, Saturday afternoon. Yep, another weekend off. Looks like I'm gonna make it through. Already got Friday out of the way. Most of the way through Saturday. Got me a good little grow here because I knew, I knew that one of the toasters was going to send me a razor to try out. Now, I didn't know what it was. He just said he was sending me a razor and blades to try out. Always good to have surprises, right? Got me some good coffee going in my Ozark Trail cup here from Walmart. That's their little cup from back in the camping department. Nothing special, but it holds stuff. And it's what I'll have when I go camping, too. Pretty good stuff. So, what Mr. Conklin sent was this the Arazo Rock Hawk V2 he told me it was I don't know a whole lot about it it's aluminum obviously from the field I've already put a blade in it as a three-piece razor and it uses these uh, what do they call these the artist club I don't know anyway it's just Captain Titan mild blades and uh, you know I've got a uh, Camasori style uh, shave it that uses those type of blades and but I haven't tried one of these and everybody knows that I'm not really hip on the new stuff these newfangled things but uh, people send them to me I try them uh, this one if uh, we can get enough interest up over at toast it's probably going to go on a little pass around if anybody wants to try it so we'll we'll see what happens but first we're going to shave with it here so I got my flat top brush that I uh, knotted here a while back you remember I had the brush that was made by uh, nine 99 up in Canada, Patrick. And uh, I'm using my brush scuttle today. So I got the soap all warming up here. We're gonna see how well that works out. It's Sterling Rose today because everybody knows how much I like a rose scent. So so that's the uh that's the major part of it for today. That's some pretty good coffee. That's still that rev coffee we were showing the other day. And uh for a uh, aftershave today we're gonna use the Pashana. Did I say that right? P-A-S-H-A-N-A, -A -A. Pashana is how I would pronounce it. The essence of barbering since 1910. All right. Well, that's good stuff. Something else that was sent to me. But it's made in the UK. Nice stuff. Got a good scent to it. We're going to like it. So that's pretty much the setup for today. Now, before we get started, I got a house guest. Actually, I got two house guests. Agent 00 Devin's in from school this weekend. And uh, he got a new puppy. Remember Teddy? Uh, his mom wouldn't keep him and everything. And uh, so he went to a new home, a good home with kids that he could play with and be crazy with. And, you know, they could keep up with him. But, uh, Rodney Coco, where are you? Come here. Hey, come here. Now, you know, they never show up when you want them to. And if you don't really want them to, they're right underfoot. Come here. So anyway, wait till you see this one. Good old Sergeant Coco. Come here. This, ladies and gentlemen, is Sergeant Coco. That's him right there. Look up. Hey, look up. Everybody wants to see you. Yeah, good boy. Look, there he is right there. Sergeant Coco. So there's Sergeant Coco. And he's not eating the place like Teddy did. Teddy was cute. But anyway, Teddy went off to a happy home. Like I said, with youngins. And then uh, Agent 00 Devin's mom got this one the other day. So... They're spending time over here this weekend while he's in from school. So anyway, there we go. That gets the personal stuff out of the way. And now let's see how this here razor does. Now I expect razor to do just fine. That's my expectations of it. Now with the Artist Club blades, and I'm calling them Artist Club, and somebody, uh, you know, they see, somebody correct me if I'm wrong. But anyway, obviously the head is wider than a regular, uh, you know, injector. There's, there they are right there. There's stacked one on top of it. So it's considerably wider. And, uh, you know, a little bit different maybe as far as the way things go. But I don't expect that to uh, be a real big problem. Let's see how the sterling, oh, that's nice and warm. Oh, you just got to love that warm lather. <laughs> Unless you're a cold water shaver, then you don't know what I'm talking about. Them cold water shavers, though, I don't know. Uh, you know, there's something. Got a screw loose somewhere, I think. But that's okay. Oh, well, while I'm thinking about it, speaking of cold water shavers, Jayara 
you know, he's made several brush handles for me, and he's a toaster, and he's the one that's been spearheading getting the uh, Tinger 3D going through. He's a really good guy, even to be a cold water shaver guy. But anyway, he took a fall the other day, and he's in the hospital, going to have to have surgery. He may have already have had surgery. And uh, we want to send out all kinds of good vibes and well wishes to JR and the family over there in uh, North Kakalaki, as he says. Hope you're back on your feet soon. I heard he had a lot of knee damage and around his knee. Uh, so hopefully he gets all that sorted out and is back on his feet in a hurry back making stuff. So uh, here we go. The Razor Rock Hawk V2, which I'm assuming is version 2. And uh, with a new blade. It's definitely wider, has a different footprint. A little bit different feel to it. I don't know. But, uh, you know, really, razor raider, blades are blades. So it's a little bit wider. Who cares? We'll just, uh, we'll see how it does. Now, that being said, you know, I don't shave under my nose and all, so it may be a difference under there. I don't think it would be. Again, it's all technique. Boy, it's doing a good job of getting this couple of days worth of growth off. I'll give it that. But that's like the uh, even the Starling, when we used it, it works fine. It's just, you know, to me, trying to reinvent the wheel here. I mean, it's not really a classic single edge or injector or anything. This is closer than some. I will say, though, that I think it's better with one like this that uses the injector-like blade. Uh, I think that is a little bit better than the uh whatever that new thing is that uh that they're making it uses the half double edge blade the eco or whatever it is i i just think that's silly personally i thought for a little while maybe i'd get behind it because it is a neat idea and i understand it's easier to get blades and all this kind of stuff but i just don't and the uh, scuttle brush scuttle kept the weather nice and warm here that's always nice it was good. The, the rose scent from this soap is just great. Absolutely great. We'll even use some paintbrush strokes here. I think I might have to take this knot out and set it a little bit deeper. I set it in silicone, so I should be able to get it out without tearing it up. And uh, if I can't, if I do tear it up, I'll order another one. Because this is definitely the knot I want in this brush. But i just like for it to be set a little bit deeper. It's just a little bit on the floppy side. Still quite usable. You can see it does a good job. So uh, back to the razor here. You know, the razor feels fine. It's easy to maneuver. <laughs> maneuver. I don't know where that word came from. It's easy to maneuver. Yes, that's the word we were looking for. And it's, uh, you know, even coming across the neck here on a, across the grain, because we don't do it against the grain, it's still nice and easy. I already knew these blades were good and sharp, because like I said, I've used them in my, uh, the Shavette, the uh, Japanese Kamasori style. I'm probably not saying that right. Yeah, it's okay. Doesn't matter. And uh, so I'd already used these style blades before, although I hadn't used this particular brand of blade. But, you know, once it's sharp and it's held by, you know, a non-defective razor, it's non-defective. It, it's blade to blade, razor to razor. But yeah, the thing does a fine job. Look at it. I mean, really, it's knocked a three-day growth down, two-day growth, whatever, two or three. I'm able to trim up really nice around the goatee with it. Well, there you are back, Sergeant Coco. And it does a really good job. Now, am I going to go buy one? No. Not really interested. Is it neat that I got the trap? Yes, it is. Again, thank you, Mr. Compton. Matter of fact, what I'm probably going to do is do another shave before I let it get out of here. And I'll use one of the other blades I have. And uh, just to show a blades, a blades, a razor, a razor. But uh, So we'll go ahead and finish this shave up with our witch hazel pass. And again, I always do the witch hazel pass at the end. I like it. I mean... Basically, the shave is good enough right now. I could leave it where it is and not feel bad about it. Uh, Monday is uh, Agent 007's birthday, so we're going out to eat tonight. 
I'm going to take you to Joe's Crab Shack. He's never been to Joe's Crab Shack. It's been a while since I've been to Joe's Crab Shack. But we're going to go out. And uh, now that we can get around town, uh, LSU stomp. Was it Utah they played today? Whoever they played today, they stomped like 42 to 6 or something like that. 40 something to 6. But all that traffic is cleared out now. It was 11 o'clock kickoff today. So we got out of here this morning to go do some stuff. And uh, ended up at the, at the uh, Science Museum with a planetarium that had a really, really nice little documentary on the Apollo 11 moon landing. So I got to watch that. I thought that was really neat. I like that kind of stuff. And I got to see an actual Egyptian mummy. I didn't realize they had one there. I'd have gone before now to the, uh, to the museum. They've got a uh, ancient Egypt uh, section there, whatever you want, whatever you would call it. And uh, in that, they've actually got an uh, Egyptian mummy. And uh, it was neat. First time I've seen that. They had some other artsy stuff in there, and I'm not artsy enough to really get into it, so it didn't do me a whole lot of good, but it was still a lot of fun to go. And it's right down on the river, and there's a dredge boat working on the river, so that's always neat. So looky there. Look what we did after our normal two ladder passes and a cleanup with the witch hazel. We have a very, very nice shave. Ignore all that old guy skin stuff there. We don't have to pay any attention to that. At all. I don't see Sergeant Coco, but it probably means he's into something. Bet you that's what it means. But anyway, so there we go. Very nice shave today. Compliments of Mr. Conkle at the Toast. Right there. Remember Toast, the Original Safety 2. That's the number 2.com. The Original Safety 2.com. Ow, one word. And uh, that's where all we do now, single edge and injector shaving. Don't think you're going to get over there and talk about unmentionables because you'll get a brick slung at you. There's a fella over there that's got a brick slung at him now. He showed a picture that had the base plate of an unmentionable in it. And I was nice enough not to delete the whole picture because it is just the base plate. But uh, I did slung a brick his way. It happens. Fuzzy's got a bad brick attitude, I'm telling you. And also, one of the uh, one of you YouTube fellas here, Mr. Mike, found me over at the Shaved Inn and said hello. And the uh, there's a shaving with Williams uh, mug soap thread. I've got one that I started years ago over at the Shaved Inn, and I've got one over at uh, Toast that I started a while back. And uh, so yeah, that's kind of you know kind of fuzzy thing. So we're gonna splash on some of the Pashana here and uh, Pashana. It doesn't take a whole lot of this to do a whole lot of good, but it does have a nice scent to it. Really does. So that's going to be good, and that's what we're going to do tonight to go to Joe's Crab Shack. Well, look, y'all have a good afternoon. Hope your shades are coming out as good as mine. If they're not, work on your technique. Don't blame the equipment if you can't drive it. All right? We'll holler at y'all later. Wherever you are, whoever you are, whatever you're doing, happy shaves to you.